Okay, so I was yeah. um, wondering, like, just talking yeah. about here, and then, um, why do you think it's, uh, like, it's okay to protest in front of school? Like, what, like, prompted you and everything? We're not protesting your school. No, yeah, in front of Yeah, school. we're not, we're not actually, this is, this is not, what we're doing here is we are declaring what is evil in a society that indoctrinates young the young generation with the worldview of secular humanism so secular humanism says that man gets to decide what's right and what's wrong and this is an idea out of the enlightenment and you won't really learn this in these classes right here so that's why we're out here we are christians that who, who who know that according to the bible the responsibility of a christian is to go where lies are and and the bible calls them idols false worldviews and tear them down so that people can be liberated and in our nation one baby who's created in the image of god is slaughtered in the place of the incarnation. According to the worldview of secular humanism, the worldview that's the dominant worldview in this school, Jesus Christ was just a parasite for a time being. Willing, it's completely okay, according to secular humanism, to go back in time and to slaughter baby Jesus in the womb. Because it would have been a slogan that's just used to make it okay. And the same arguments, the same arguments that are used to justify the slaughter of children today have been used in the past to justify grave injustices. Injustices against Christians themselves. Tomorrow, please, what was your name again? Joe, Joe Salant. So, God bless you. Um, see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow. God bless you. The same reasoning, it's always dehumanization that's used to subjugate a group of people into property or, or people who are okay to slaughter for the good of society. And Christians say we need to come against that because the Bible covers all areas of life and Jesus' Lordship call, covers all areas of life. There's a, there's a saying that, that is very true. If Jesus isn't Lord of all, then he's not Lord at all. We don't believe that secular humanism has any rightful place in any society, and we will be victorious in establishing the gospel of Jesus Christ, God's law, justice, in this society. And we're here lastly, and this is the most important for your initial question about this being a protest or whatever the case may be. We're here because we love you. We're here because we want you to hear the truth. We're here because we know that you're not hearing this in that school. And we hear, we know that if we don't come and bring this good news, the, the news of Jesus Christ in the gospel, bringing the light of the kingdom of God, lighting up the darkness, that it just will stay dark. And it is the normative, not the special, not like a special calling of Christians, not like a special thing that, that uh, uh, some experts have to line up in a church to do, not that you have to hit like a donate now button in an email. None of us are paid. This is normative Christian activity in a pagan culture that inculcates its children with the worldview of secular humanism. So I hope I've answered your question. Do you have any other questions? Yeah, just one more. Go. So, do you think this is more of a religious issue or a political issue? And how do you think that this message will get across yeah. to people at our school? Because there is, um, at most, just 50% people at our school who are Christian. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Excellent, excellent question. Religious and political are category distinctions that are not applicable in the true Christian worldview because Jesus is Lord of all areas of life and so our job the Christian religion is is not a idea it's it's not a set of concepts okay though there are concepts and though there, there are ideas it's the claim that Jesus Christ is king of the universe and that his kingdom is here. The early Christians said repent because the kingdom of God is at hand. They didn't say hold on wait a second is this a religious issue or is this a political issue? That's an idea that we get from pagan culture that separates life into different areas. If truth is true, then it's true to all areas of life. And it's like the secular human, it's a very secular, and I don't mean this in an insulting way at all, but it's a secular humanist based question. That truth depends on the idea of the beholder, of different eyes, like Nietzsche said, the great atheistic philosopher who inspired Hitler, said many eyes, many truths. Okay, that's the idea of secularism. That's the idea of the Enlightenment. We're saying no, there is an absolute truth of God. And even denying that absolute truth of God is, an, is a self-refuting statement. Because when you say there is no absolute truth, you're making an absolute truth claim. The way God set society up, the way God set his order up screams, not only to his, his existence out there, but th that he is imminent, that he is present, that he cares for you. And as to Christians, the percentage of Christians that are in that school, that doesn't matter. It would be, it would, if there were 
were zero percent Christians in that school, all the more reason for us to come and to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ into conflict with the evil of abortion and the evil of the secularist worldview that's in there that's saying that their views can determine reality. Because at the end of the day, if a, a view of a human being can determine what's right and what's just, then all the injustices in the past were determined right by the previous culture and we have no right to judge them by an outside standard. Thank you so much. Can I just get your name? Goodness, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for letting me babble. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love to, I love to babble. At you. I mean, I, uh, How would you spell Oh, that? it's Joe Salant, and it's capital S-A-L-A-N-T. Let me take a look at that. Make sure you spell my name right. <laughs> awesome. Okay. And uh, if you would like any, um, let me give you my contact information. I don't have any cards, but if you... Um, if you'd like any contact information, like for any follow-up, if you ever want like a speaker to come in to, to somebody to debate, if you have any teacher that's brave enough to actually put the worldview of secular humanism on display, I'd love, I'm dying, I would love to set that up. If you have anyone in there that would do the auditorium with me, I'd pay the cost. I'd get the cost together, whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. We'd love somebody who thinks secular humanism is the greatest thing on earth. Mm -hmm. You can get them from this school or anywhere else. Okay? Thank you so much. God bless you. Oh, let me give you my contact. Sorry, sorry. And y'all are, are good journalists. Y'all are good journalists. You listen to Opposing View uh, uh, and, and you do the right thing in your journalism. And that is, look, one last thing. Oh, sorry. Um, this is my this is my direct cell number. Uh, last thing, real quick. I promise this will be real quick. One of the things that's being killed in our society today um, is journalistic integrity. So you have Fox News who has an agenda. Mm -hmm. Then you have MSNBC that has an agenda. So you have like the neocon agenda with Fox News. Then you have the the far left agenda with MSNBC. And then everybody's news is shaded by corporate identities. One thing that you can aspire to as a journalism is to take your presuppositions what you and you already do this and I think you'll, you'll, you'll realize this but you take your presuppositions about the world and it takes a self-conscious y'all gotta examine each other and you set them aside you say we're gonna report this down the middle because if your worldview is true you want down the middle reporting so that it can be determined not slanted reporting so that somebody from the other side can come up and say ah see slanted reporting because that's what's happening today you see what I mean? So I encourage y'all with that. Joe Salant, that's my, uh, that's my contact information. Uh, love y'all. I'm praying for you. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is Lord. He died for your sins. He rose again on the third day. You can be delivered from the evil that you know that is in the world and the injustice. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Love y'all. Thank you very much. Yep. You too.